I decided to share with you uh, some of my experience that I gathered uh, repairing these Philips Sonicare uh, toothbrushes and um, it's quite a reliable toothbrush but has some weak spots and, and um, usually the biggest part that you need to uh, look, out, look out is uh, this uh, rubber part uh, you always have to remove the toothbrush part and, and uh, wash it uh, not to let some uh, gulk build up and, and uh, damage the rubber part because if you will uh, dis damage this, this part uh, you usually destroy your toothbrush but uh, it has an, another weak point it's a uh, usually mechanical one if, it, if you drop it on an on end it will uh, get uh, uh, the magnet will uh, get, get more closer to the electromagnet and, and it will not work correctly like in like this one you can hear that it's almost not not no vibrations at all but electronics uh, functions so let's I will, I will show you my method of opening it uh, it's quite non-destructive you just take a, a thicker paper or or, or something that to uh, damage the, the painting and um, squeeze it slightly on all parts to get a big bigger bigger opening and when you have it you insert uh, some spacer in, into the side of it and then rotating it you press one once more on the side and it usually pops out quite easily so let's try it one more time Press it, insert the spacer into the side of it, and press it on the sides. And this side already pops out. Pop it out, and we can go around it. And op open another, another side. <coughs> When both sides uh, re release, we can easily open it. And then all you need to do is insert a screwdriver and open two lashes. So what I do is usually apply some, some pressure on the ground and release the lashes on the sides. It's usually better to see what you are doing, but for the purpose of demonstration, up. up and it's out so let's see yes yes as you can see magnet is uh, is next to the, to the electromagnet and so no vibrations are being produced it's quite an easy fix in principle you need to just take this one out and slightly bend it and pull it apart when you pull it apart you can take it out 
and you have two screws so you need to unleash the screws and what I found, uh, this one was quite loose uh, what I found is the best solution is to insert a simple screwdriver and make some space then insert a simple uh, piece of thicker plastic it should be something about half a millimeter because the less gap you will have the better the vibrations and then when this is done what you do is you unscrew the screw completely and take some kind of screw fasteners uh, so it will hold much much stronger and you will then need to repeat this procedure time after time so let's take this one and screw it back in make it tightly let's take another the second one out and reinsert it perfect then let's take tweezers and pull the plastic out perfect now what we have or what we should have is a little space let's see if it works as you see vibrations are strong um, and yeah there is this half a millimeter space between magnet and electromagnet so let's put it all back together we need to align the tooths into the spaces and press it and slide and push it in that's it then let's assemble it back all the parts into its their places put the wires away and and everything's in places we can assemble it into its case yeah one more thing um, some more defects that come to, to these toothbrushes is sometimes even simpler uh, some uh, toothpaste build up in, in this button so you just need to wash it out and, and it will function um, and uh, sometimes you have a mechanically damaged or broken uh, pendant and you have a quite loose uh, stift and, and uh, yeah, then you don't have much of options to repair it you need some spare parts and, 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 uh, or other toothbrush to replace uh, this uh, this part I just noticed that the button is slightly off offside hmm. but but it functions quite good let's see Has some some of the sounds, so maybe it should be. We could have space bigger. Yeah, 
yeah, we can just do it a little bit bigger. Yeah, I'll do it off offline uh, without without wasting your time. So I will just take uh, two plastic pieces like this one. So it will be maybe 06 or 07 uh, millimeter of thickness, and then uh, the magnet will stay uh, a little bit uh, uh, further away from from electromagnet because now we still has some 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 of the noise and and. Yeah, I've uh, repeated the repair with two strips of these plastic pieces and as you can see now we have good good one millimeter gap in, in, in uh, between the magnet and the electromagnet and so now we have function fully functional tool, toolbrush to assemble it simply insert it back into its housing so the clips jump in and um, yeah, so just to repeat it one more time, uh, you, when you have the cover on, uh, you press with the pliers diagonally and when the gap uh, appears on, on the side, you insert uh, this uh, spacer right in, in, uh, on, on side. And then, uh, when it's uh, fixed in there, you re retake the pliers and uh, squeeze it uh, on sides. Then uh, this part will jump uh, out and uh, uh, the, the cover will lift up. As you can see, it has some, uh, some, 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 some clips that, that hold it in place. And yeah, this is the, the, the method that I found is non-intrusive that yeah, this these damages was already here uh, before taking apart and yeah you can without damaging take off uh, of the cover and and uh, repair the toothbrush so that's it uh, hope you like it if if you have some remarks for me this is my first video on youtube so please let me know in comments and and i will try to answer every one of you thanks and bye